Hello, I'm Amy Lawrence Grubich, the Thrive Director at Salem Covenant Church. Today I'm going to share strategies for distance learning and focus on the importance of routine. For some, back to school is a difficult time, transitioning from cherished family time and sweet summer memories to structure and routine. Other families celebrate that transition because it means re-engaging in their school community, reconnecting with friends, and returning to a more desired schedule, perhaps. However, things look much different now. Instead of going back to school shopping, many families are trying to figure out how to navigate a new normal. Whether your family is going back to school, engaging in a hybrid model, or going fully online, I understand the stress and anxiety surrounding this is really heavy for some. My goal is to lighten your load and share some strategies that might ease this transition a bit for you and your family. Today, I want you to understand that routines can make all the difference. Routines can minimize conflict and maximize peace in your home. When children know what to expect, they are far more compliant and they become more independent. Routine takes the guesswork out of what each day will entail, which should lessen the feelings of stress in the home. Let's take a deeper look. Consider the routines you already have built into your day. Chances are you don't even realize how many you actually have. Think about waking up and going to bed. How about mealtime routines? I bet there are similarities in the way you approach those times of day. Now, think about implementing a morning and afternoon work cycle and building in breaks. You've got a routine. Let's specifically talk about breaks as part of your daily routine. Both children and adults need breaks for many reasons. These are the top four. First, they reset the brain and the body. Next, they provide necessary sensory input for regulation. Third, they encourage blood flow to ready the body and wake up the brain. Finally, they decompress and calm a person, allowing the brain a little rest. After a rest with the blood flowing and the brain aroused, it is ready to do its best work. For this reason, breaks must be an intentional part of your daily routine, especially during distance learning. Being intentional is key because there is not enough time in the day for everything. You can incorporate break activities marked as play or family time, which benefit the child in more than one way. Here are some examples. Go for a family walk. Do reading in a beanbag chair. Listen to music. Jump on the trampoline. There are many more, as you can see on this slide. More information is presented on breaks. You can watch a presentation for specific benefits and ideas for implementation on our website. Now, breaks are very important, but they can be one of the most common ways to break routine in your day if you are not intentional and firm with your boundaries. Using a timer is a great way to enforce transitions in your routine until your child has gained the independence navigating their routine on their own. First, a timer keeps you to your routine. Next, it serves as a visual reminder for children. They can see the time counting down and they can anticipate when it's time to transition. This eliminates a lot of stress for some children. One of my favorite benefits of the timer has to do with a third point approach. Some children will have difficulty transitioning from a, a preferred break time activity like playing Legos to a non-preferred task like an assigned math worksheet. They may get mad at you trying to engage you in a power struggle for more time to play. A timer will help move the blame from you to the timer. This is what is called the third point approach. You can say, I'm sorry, the timer has run out. It's time for math. Or, oh, the timer says you're done with Legos now. No matter how hard they try, the timer will not engage in the power struggle. The child can't argue with this inanimate object sitting on your table, so they work toward compliance. This will get easier with time, and many children will get to a level of independence that they can navigate their own transitions during the day. This brings us to our final point. Using a timer builds independence as it helps you stick to your routine. 
Another important aspect of implementing a routine is how you communicate your expectations. One of the most frustrating things for a child is not understanding a direction they've been given or a concept they've been taught. Ross Green, a child psychologist in the field of education, stated, All children do well if they can. When children struggle, it has to do with a skill set that has not yet been developed. Whether it be academically, socially, or emotionally, there's a skill set deficit. That being said, one of the things that can be most frustrating for a parent is repeating themselves over and over because the child wasn't listening, or so it seems. Keeping in mind that all children do well if they can, we can assume that the child is trying to listen and do the right thing. That being said, we need to change our approach if we are going to help set them up for success. To set a child up for success, we need to go visual with routines, expectations, and choices. This does not have to be complicated. The visuals can be drawn or printed. They should be presented with your spoken word, and they should be left out in a place where the child can refer to them later. You should use visuals that match each section of the routine for their day. Visuals should also be used for giving directions and when providing choice options. They should vary based on the needs of your child. One child might need visual support for each step of their day, while other children may only need to use a checklist, which is another type of visual. Let's take a look at some examples. This is a routine visual. The child has five tasks expected of them as part of their afternoon routine. First, they need to hang up their backpack. You see it's on the bottom because the child has indicated that the task is finished. Next, he will eat a snack. Once that is finished, he will move the snack picture to the bottom row and then move on to the next task. This type of visual requires a bit more preparation, but if you stick to a consistent schedule or routine, they should use the same visual every afternoon. This is a visual for communicating expectations. It would likely be used for a child in a second to fifth grade classroom. These directions communicate what materials the child is going to need. It tells them what they are expected to do, what to do with it when they are finished, and finally, the options for work when they finished. You can see that this could be composed right on the spot, requiring very little preparation ahead of time. Finally, this visual is an example for offering a child choice during their break. You might start by cutting these up and offering two choices if the child is feeling overwhelmed. You know your child best. If they are okay with making choices, you can give them more options. If you would like more information on going visual, please check out that specific presentation on our website for more strategies. All right, let's re recap the importance of routines. Implement a routine and stick to it. You will probably experience some resistance at first, but kids actually thrive given a routine, so stick to it and it will pay off. As a part of your routine, it's important that you implement intentional breaks. Use a timer to navigate through your routine and know that some transitions will be more difficult than others. That's okay. Stick to your routine and use the third-person approach to diffuse any frustration. Remember that all children do well if they can. If your child is struggling with transitions, understand that there's a lacking skill set. Support them, teach them, and encourage them, and you will see their skills grow. Finally, one of the best ways we can support children is to pair our words with visuals. If you have specific needs or questions that were not addressed here, please connect with me. I can be reached at a grubage at salem-covenant.church. God bless you as you navigate distance learning.